hello there. My name is Rusty Pie Lover, ginger streamer, professional high paid screamer, and lover extraordinaire. <laughs> We're back with Honey Pup 2. Now, in the previous episode, we discovered that Honey Pup 2 does not allow for easy, smooth decisions that don't involve looking at very naked people. So I'm going to play this as cautiously as possible. I've thrown the gentleman dude out of the window. There will be no bad French accent because, to be quite honest, not a single part of this game has got any form of gentleman-like conduct, okay? So I'm just going to continue with this and decide how I'm even going to continue this game. <laughs> because the dialect in this game is something unbelievably... Oh my word, I can't even begin to describe it. Okay. Uh, Ina de Puna, where the melons are juicy and the fish are a plant. Of course. This is a very popular vacation spot for us love fairies. There's okay. just something about this place that makes you feel all warm and fuzzy in the lady bits. Oh what the fuck is that? Hey, look over there. Isn't that your little sex buddy from home? How convenient is that? Um, dude, stalk much? <laughs> what in the fuck are you doing here? Uh... How do... How do I go about this? I don't know. All these options are a little... How do you say? Woo! Um, I'm gonna go this one. I just couldn't stand to be without me, huh? Well, who could blame you? Oh, Dude, geez. if you wanted to fly out here with me, all you had to do was ask. If I'd have known you were coming, I wouldn't have had to explain my vibrator to security. Oh my god. I love her. You already have an in with this chick too. Now all we gotta do is convince her to have a three-way. My Jeebus. Good, good gracious. How how do people play this with a straight face? I mean, I could be abrupt and just like straight up ask her, but I'll I'll go the suspicious route. That's true. Plenty of holes to fill, right? <laughs> My goodness. Bro, where did you find this chick? I want one. I have some business stuff to take care of out here, but I should have plenty of free time, too. I'm staying at... What was the name? Oh, yeah. Lovely. Lovely Hotel. What a coincidence! That's exactly where we'll be staying, too! Anyway, I should probably go find my luggage. That was the worst Catulate pun. Sweet cheeks. It, it was a pun, and it was oh, a double man. entendre, too. I am definitely sneaking into her room at night to get a whiff of that. Speaking of which, we should go check in before it gets too late. Come on, let's go! What? Oh my gosh! Pretty sweet digs, huh? If you're gonna try to save the galaxy, you might as well do it in style. Okay. Good evening. Welcome to Lovely Hotel. My name is Lailani. How may it be of service? Hmm. I can think of a few ways this cutie pie could be of service to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I did not do what you thought I did. Really. Come. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> this is the front desk, so all I can do is help guests get checked in and out. But I don't remember seeing any more reservations in the system for tonight. Shit! I knew I forgot to do something. Uh, not a problem, though. I'm sure we can find the appropriate accommodations for you. What kind of room were you looking for? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm going with it. <laughs> I'm afraid that would be strictly against hotel policy, <laughs> I think. But I do have a great room for you on the second floor. It has a nice view and a big bed. I think you'll find it to be quite suitable. 
Excuse me briefly while I retrieve your key card. Okay, you're all set. Here's your key card. The room number is written on the back. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. That's what we're here for. Oh my goodness. What the feck? Then you'll be quite happy to learn that we have a massage bar right here within the resort. You can go there anytime to make an appointment with one of our therapists. He might even get me. <laughs> The elevator is behind you to your right. Enjoy your stay and have a wonderful night. You too, darling. Thank you so much. Okay. The adventure begins. The adventure began episode one. Morning, sunshine. I hope you slept well, because we've got a full day of double dates ahead of us. You remember how the honeybee registers the girls you meet and tracks their location, right? Well, now it can also detect the presence of girls that you haven't even met yet. Just open up the Girl Finder app and select a location where two girls are going to be. The honeybee will automatically detect if the girls are compatible with each other. If they are, you can probably coax them into a threesome. But it might take a date or two. What the fuck? Okay. I, I forgot how this works. Um, uh, brain. Okay. I think what we're going to do is we'll, we'll try the airport first, right? Because we can basically only go to a hotel lobby or airport. So let's do the airport first. And then we'll see where we go from there. I'm going to regret this. Let's go. All right. I'm psyched. You psyched? Yeah, you're psyched. Let's go get you laid. Oh, and if you ever need to check in with me, just meet me back here at the hotel room. <laughs> okay, let's see what's happening over here. Hey, hey, came to see me off, huh? How sweet. You're a real Romeo. I wish I could have stayed longer, but... Duty calls. See you when I see ya. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with ya. I'm actually waiting for my little cousin to arrive. When my aunt heard I was going to be out of town for a while, she begged me to take her off her hands. I figured, sure, why not? I'm sure my aunt could use the break. My cousin can be... a handful. Speak of the devil, there she is. Hey, Lil! Over here! Good to see you, cuz. How was the flight? Um, like, literally the worst experience of my entire fucking life? You say that about everything. Lighten up a little. Oh, You're in a tropical no. paradise. Whatever. I didn't ask to come here. My mom forced me to come because she fucking oh, hates no. me. Oh no! <laughs> Lillian, your mom does not hate you. I wish the plane would have crashed. Maybe then she'd finally be happy. All right, drama queen, calm down, calm down. It'll be fun. You'll see. Before we do anything, though, is there a bathroom around here? I got a pee. Hey, sweet cheeks, entertain my cousin for a minute, will ya? I can't I'll be handle. Right back. Oh my gosh, she's like Audrey. Oh great, now we're stuck babysitting Count Snatula. <laughs> Didn't the goth thing go out of style like six million years ago? <sighs> I don't know man, the dark priestess here is looking a little fresh if you know what I mean. You might want to try to find out how old she is. What the fuck? <laughs> As if, they never let me do anything. You don't need to babysit me, okay? I'm not a fucking kid. I'm 18. Phew. We're all clear for takeoff. Oh, my jeebus, oh, This is gonna be so boring. What is there even to do at this place? Uh, what? Who the fuck would pay for porn? Yeah, no thanks. 
Maybe I'll just get wasted and let a bunch of guys have their way with me. Do you think my parents would like that? <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, looks like Ash is finally done. That only took my entire life. My I call gosh. Dibs. My, I've been my holding brain. it for like 30 minutes. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the wait. I hope she wasn't too much of a hassle for how, is, how are these even uh, shorts? Can we go now? I'm hungry. In a minute, Lil. They haven't even started returning people's luggage yet. <sighs> Please kill me. <sighs> My brain! My brain can't work with these people. Like, ugh, Lillian is such a pain. She reminds me so much of Audrey, just like less Audrey. Oh shit, I can't believe I haven't asked you this yet. Can you guess the name I gave to my vibrator? <laughs> you fucking wish. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to, like, ask you something. Okay. If you contacted a dead person, what would you, like, want to ask them? Yes! That's so hard. I would haunt the fuck out of my stupid idiot little brother. Okay. What? How do I buy stuff now? Wait a second. Hold on. This is like food. So we need to get as much food as possible, right? Okay, so what is your diet, my, my lady? Okay, the thing is... She likes things that give sexuality, but mine is flirting. But you're not telling me about your diet. you know how to make yourself useful yeah okay wait hold on this yeah take this at least food still loves me oh oops oh wait hold on um for sentiment stamina stamina we need to get there what the fuck hey sweet cheeks let me ask you something would you fuck your dad if it meant you got a perfect sex bot in return? What the fuck? What the? What the fuck? Oh my gosh, that was the worst. What's up? Well, considering I'm in a punk band, it would be pretty weird if I didn't say punk. Oh yeah, that was you that got me into that, wasn't it? Uh, can I, can I give you food? Hey, as long as you're paying. <laughs> oh, she, okay. I didn't even need to talk to them. A golf course. I'm taking them to a golf course. Ugh, I should have brought an umbrella. The sun is like burning my fucking skin. You like this one, yes? So, point. Okay, and then... Luckily, there's no timer on this. I'm gonna do one more. And then swap over. Okay, cool. Now, for you, you don't like the other one. I'm assuming I'm just gonna do this. Uh, and I have to do it within those moves. This game looks like it might be a little bit more difficult, just saying. Um, hmm. You don't like that one. 
crystal there. Boom. Nice. That should get you going real good, right? Here. What? Can't be given directly from the honeybee. What you mean? Date gifts can't be given directly from the honeybee. So how am I supposed to give it? Explain to me. Okay, well, switch over. Heck, this is difficult, yo. And some passion. Mm. There we go, that's better. Got a little stamina in there. I need to get this down here. How do I? Removes all broken heart tokens from the grid. But I can't give it straight from here. That's some BS. Nice. Now we swap over. You gotta be so careful. You have to be so unbelievably careful with how you play this. She? Oh my word, I have 19 moves. How am I gonna do this? Somebody, tell me how you would be able to do this. I mean, I really don't I guess I have to. Ooh. This will make Lillian upset. Yeah, you don't say. Back. I mean, sure. Dude, I'm not getting anything. Oh, I'm gonna fail this date hopelessly. Okay. I'm actually going to fail this date hopelessly. Oh. Oh, that was that was lucky. That was serious luck right there. No, that 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 move will cause unbelievable devastation to me. You gotta be smart about it. There, and then there, and we swap over. We go there. I have eight moves left. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna make this date. Fucking fuck! Uh, swap over. <laughs> yes! Bad. I mean, you know, for you. Ash, we're not like blood relatives, right? Nah, we're related by marriage. I thought you already knew that. Oh yeah, I know. I'm just double checking. Oh no. Okay. I was about to say. Not too shabby. I can see you're definitely getting the hang of these double dates. It looks like the honeybee was able to determine that these two kind of have the hots for each other. But threesomes don't just happen, you know? You gotta be in the right place at the right time. Naturally, the honeybee's got you covered there too. Just keep an eye on the Girl Finder app. It'll alert you when there's a perfect opportunity for a second date. You can't miss it. Is that handy or what? I swear, the guys at Honeycorp think of everything. Okay! Now, how are you supposed to give this? Okay. 
Nice. Let's go here and go to the boardwalk, I assume. Okay, bye! It's the evening. <laughs> it's such a peaceful day, isn't it? I don't think anything could disturb this tranquility. Konnichiwa! Oh, Genki Desuka! Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Sorry, I think I got it wrong. But I'm practicing, I promise! Wait, I've seen you around recently. You're the new assistant to Mrs. Bell Rose, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm! I'm Suki! Well, that's my Japanese name anyway. It's a pleasure to meet you, Suki. I'm Lailani. I work at the hotel. Occasionally the massage spa, too. <gasps> really? I work with a real Japanese girl? Oh, Sugoi! Oh, no, I'm not... You're tan, too, just like me! OMG! Do you also like Yaru fashion? N no, uh... No, I'm actually Paul and... Have you been to Shibuya? Or Harajuku? Or Akihabara? What's it like? Will you take me there sometime? Uh... Well, I'd love to, but... I don't... I mean... I'm not... I can't believe I'm actually best friends with a tan Japanese girl! <laughs> What's that smell? You smell that? It smells like... Like a fucking weeb! Ugh, I have to put up with enough of this shit back home. You think anime is popular down here? You should see Sky Garden. Where do you think the designs for these love fairy uniforms came from? Rescue Hotel Girl before this dweeb makes her watch an entire season of some magical Chan girl shit. I'm going to end it there. This game... is fun. It's definitely not draining to all of my souls. And uh, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know how to handle the dialect of this game. This is Rusty Palover, Ginger Streamer, High Pitch Screamer. An entertainer extraordinaire, reminding you all that Honey Pop 2 is indeed a game. Bye bye!